Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Randomly Play. And today we take a look at Heroes of Might and Magic 5. Well, the Heroes of Might and Magic series is a turn-based strategy game, a turn-based RPG strategy game. Well, the main games at least, I don't know for the spin-offs. But back to this game, uh, we have a single player mode here as you can see with a campaign that tells a story, a basic story with each race. Um, custom game, I'm not sure what this is, but these are some set missions that you can do, I think they add some story or something like that. I don't know. So yeah, let's just go with a random battle since that would be the fastest on this little map here and yeah, normal difficulty should do. Um, let's go with the necromancers and yeah, that that hero looks cool. Yeah, that should do. And our enemy will be completely randomized, so yeah. Oh, that was fast. Okay then. This is our castle here. Yeah, each time I begin the game I like to build a bla blacksmith that gives us a little extra firepower. Um, yeah, this is a calendar thing here. It is it is basically just a week. With yeah, just a week, and each day you can move a certain amount and build a building or upgrade a building. Yeah, it makes sense since this is a turn-based game. Um, yeah, let's just go with our first battle here. Oh, these monsters are ra ranged, so... Yeah, I just have to... Get close to them. Um, Uh, yeah, e each creature on the field gets their own turn. Here we can see which, which creature is the next, basically. Kinda like in Final Fantasy X, if you know what I mean. And these are the things that I brought before. The extra firepower, what I just like to have. Tenta is healing us, the Ballista is the extra firepower and that gives us arrows and stuff like that because we can run out of arrows I'm pretty sure if we have that thing there we can't run out of arrows at least I never did run out of arrows while that thing was around and yeah this few monsters shouldn't cause any more trouble, so... That should be it for this first battle tank here. Uh, just two more, okay. It's not that easy to get ghosts. Yeah, that's the special ability of the ghost. They sometimes, it, sometimes it's the, if the enemy hits them or you hit them, they just miss. So that's good to know. Um, yeah, we get a little experience, and we see what units we lost and what we destroyed. Just some basic stuff. Yeah, these buildings. So that one and that one there 
always drop some random stuff. I think this drops money always. I'm not sure though. But whatever. Mm, that's my turn for this day. Okay. Um, so as the... Let's see. Oh yeah, as you can see, we need also supplies to build buildings or to upgrade the castle basically um, hmm. we can get that stuff there yeah I speeded the movement up so uh, even though the animations are good it is still better that we won't need to wait that long to our hero to travel a random amount of distance, if you know what I mean. Yeah, in the options we can e e even speed up the battle speed, but that is kind of nice for me. What, what the current speed that it is set to. So, hmm, what can we get? Those aren't too special. Gargoyle stores can cause some trouble. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we can just... No, I didn't get that. Huh, okay. Whatever. Let's see what can we build. Ooh, ghosts. Yeah, let's get some ghosts. And attack these here. Um, yeah this formation should do. And yeah, now we have ranged skeletons here. Or basically archer skeletons. Oh yeah, ghosts can go through walls. So that's cool. Ghosts are very useful. Oh, and they missed. So as you can see, the hero isn't really a part of the battle, he's just helping out. Um, yeah, so later on he can learn new spells, but at this point we don't have anything, so all I can do is just the hero's basic attack. Hmm. What else do we have here? Well, we also have random awesome battle music going on. But I'm sure you already noticed that. Um, hmm. I think that's it for the battle. I can't think of any more stuff at this point. Well, later on we can control the tent and the ballista. But that's late. That's for later. That that those are some extra abilities that you either learn or don't. Oh, and if we kill, I don't know if I said that, but yeah, the that's the necromancer's ability. Basically, if we kill living creatures, we get ghosts that join us in that battle and yeah after the battle as you saw we got quite some well not quite but just a few extra creatures there yeah that should be now I upgraded the ghost 
tower, as I like to call it. Uh, is there a chest? Okay, I can get that. Basic destructive magic. Let's go with that. Why not? Oh. Yeah, sometimes if you attack your own race, they join you. Uh, they join you, so... But we weren't that lucky this time, so we have to deal with them. I don't know if they count as living creatures, though. Hmm, maybe. So yeah, you will only get um, ghosts from living creatures. Not from all creatures, because not all creatures are living or something like that. Yeah, I know it doesn't make sense, but if you played this game, it would. Yeah, each race has kind of their own unique abilities and their own weaknesses that you have to figure out on your own, basically. How you can use each race to your advantage and not to be terrible with one race or something like that. And even though every race has their own abilities, this game is very balanced. There isn't a race that is very overpowered or something like that, so that's that's kinda nice. Actually that's very nice. <laughs> Whatever. Um hmm. let's just stand here so they cannot fire at us. Yeah, if you stand next to an archer they cannot do their range attack, so Oh, so they count as living creatures. Hmm, okay. That's good to know. No, this, this should do. Or not? Okay. A few more hits then. Come on. Yeah, their ranged att attack it is a lot stronger than this knife attack thing. Okay, that was it. Yeah, those ghosts that joined us, they disappear after the battle, so... We don't keep them. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, let's take this wood making house here. Okay. Um. Oh, there are zombies. Well, what can we build? Let's go with that. Oh. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, as we up upgrade the castle, we unlock more stuff oh those are strong we can't beat them at this point let's try and beat the zombies then and I don't think that one skeleton is going to be big help so I'm just ah, yeah removing him from the battlefield and we just have to deal with one pack of zombies here that shouldn't cause much trouble yeah I think the best thing is to wait for them they can't move that much so it will take him a while to get here. 
Let's barricade the skeletons here. That's the best thing that I can do at this point. Um, Okay, this could take a while. Forty more, forty more. Come on, you are not that tough. Yay, these zombies do have a decent defense though. Oh yeah, they missed. Um, yeah, like that. Oh. Well, they attack isn't bad either. As you can see. We can take these zombies here, they are not that tough. Uh, I think he's not going to move. That's good to know, we can at least do more damage with our archers now. Yeah, this this tent is not healing that much, but at least something. Okay, we are still keeping our ghosts. Oh, they are going to kill. Oh, not... Ow. Not cool, man. Not cool. Maybe we can bar barricade this zombie here. Um. Yeah. Oh. Well. Not that much left. So. Yeah, as you can see, this is how the battle works. Nothing too special, but you have to focus, basically. Not to mess up things. And to not get cocky and attack strong monsters. Um, hmm. I don't know if I can escape them. Even though they cannot go that far. Maybe like this. I can block off the path to the Skeletons or not? Yay, they want the skeletons. That's not cool. Leave my skeletons alone, man. Oh, three more. And just two. And yeah. Oh. That was a little longer, but we still did it. And we are celebrating, apparently. Hmm. 
Advanced Destructive Magic. Okay, why not? Yeah, we can always select uh, what we want to learn, basically. Well, if we reach the next level. I think you can select up to five abilities or something like that. If I'm right. Huh. Oh. Yeah, that, that is guarded by Jins. Uh, Jins are strong, so I'm not going to fight them now. Oh, we have a unguarded treasure chest here. That gives us thousand experience. Yeah, I guess we could go and finish those gargoyles off. And yeah. Oh well, week has passed already. I didn't even notice that. Um, let's upgrade the vampires. So yeah, that's cool. Yeah, there we go. Um, let's just wait here so I can build this. And get some extra zombies. Yeah, you can only only buy. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. You can only buy uh, creatures once per week. So that's something that you have to keep in mind. Okay, let's finish those off. I think that those gargoyles can fly, so it is not a big difference where I put my creatures. Oh, okay. They can travel quite a distance. Yeah, the, the stronger ghosts should do more damage. Mm. But these gargoyles have quite a defense though. Ow! Oh. You should have missed. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Um, oh, it's heading for my skeletons. Yeah, they al always attack the arranged uh, creatures first. But, yeah, that's something that you will notice in this game sooner or later. Oh, okay. We didn't counter, but th at least they didn't hit us. Let's finish those off, since they can cause some trouble if they are close to us. Can we do... Nope, we can't do anything. Any kind of awesome magic. Um... Yeah. They stand right to an ranged creature. They cannot do a ranged attack. That's how that works, so... That is also something that's good to know. Oh, and they... 
transform into ghosts too. Hmm. Okay. At least this one cannot can come close to our archers. Come on, finish him. And uh, ten more, okay. Or nine, eight, okay. Um, yeah, I know that I barricaded my skeleton there, but at least this other one cannot come close to my skeletons um, hmm. oh there is still a space there that's not cool nah whatever then that that very whole barricading thing won't work. Oh, this one is down. Um, yeah, that's le that just leaves one more. One pack more. <laughs> Nine, six, okay. And of course they attack my skeletons. What else? Um, yeah, I just barricaded them there so I can't attack them. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's just leave a space there so we can attack them or maybe just run because then they will come here or there now we can attack them oh okay that finished them off Yeah, they did quite some damage. Okay. I take that. Oh, we got one zombie. Random accessory here. Okay. Yeah, that should be enough for this random episode. I hope you all enjoyed this. And I see you all next time.